Hey everybody, it is Wednesday, the 12th of June, 2019. The S&P 500 finished with a small loss here today. As you can see, it just kind of drifted lower in a very quiet session, uh, very little range in here. We are above the five-day moving average, which is rising. And here's our week-to-date volume-weighted average price. So we're just seeing a little bit of profit-taking. I still think that it's uh, you know acting pretty good here, holding above the 50-day uh, moving average. That's the green one, as well as the uh, five-day moving average. So so I think we continue to give the benefit of the doubt to the buyers. Same is true for the NASDAQ. Now, the NASDAQ uh, is uh, right above its rising five-day moving average, and the daily chart doesn't look as good as the uh, S&P 500. So maybe it pulls back a little bit further. We have had a nice run in here looking at the 15-minute time frame. You know, if we look at the volume-weighted average price from uh, this gap higher, Perhaps we head down towards 180. I don't think that would be a bad thing. Uh, but the uh, path of least resistance on the intermediate term is just a little bit of profit taking within an uptrend. The Russell 2000 uh, came up to uh, the 200 day moving average and 50 day moving average yesterday, as we mentioned. Uh, and right now it's trying to stabilize in here above the five day moving average. So far it seems to be holding there. That's a good thing. Uh, but really just kind of more neutral uh, than anything overall. Based on that daily time frame, we just have too many uh, mixed messages here with the declining 50 and 200 day moving average. If we can hold in this area, I think for the next few days and then get back above and hold above the 50 day moving average, that would be the uh, ideal situation for a bullish Russell 2000. The semiconductors came up close to the declining 50 day moving average yesterday and backed off today on some news. So here we find ourselves uh, heading back down towards the year to date volume weighted average price and back below the five day moving Moving average, but the five day moving average is rising. So maybe the volume weighted average price month to date is where we see this market sell down to. That's at about 103 and a quarter. And on the daily time frame, I think that looks quite reasonable to think that it could get down there. That, that's pretty much the year to date volume weighted average price as well. Biotechs were a little bit higher here today. This daily chart still showing a pattern of lower highs and lower lows. When we look at the 30 minute time frame, we do see that uh, we got back above and holding above the five day moving average. That's good. But I think this uh, is just pretty much directionless here on the intermediate term time frame. And financials pulled back a little bit. They are below the volume weighted, I'm sorry, the five day moving average. And the five day moving average is starting to flatten out. If we take a look at the 15 minute time frame, you can see that, uh, let me just redraw that in, the volume weighted average price from this gap here. We closed right on that. The next important level is this uh, 2680. So this is going to be the important level uh, for this market to hold. If it continues to drift down in here, I don't view that as a, uh, a horribly negative thing, but it'll take a little bit more time to recover as we'll see the five day moving average would begin to flatten out and decline if we do see another day of pullback here. Over to the daily time frame, you know, where would a t pullback continuation take us? Maybe down towards that 20 day moving average. I don't think that would be a horrible thing, but right now we're on the 50 and just uh, I think we need to see this market. Uh, all these uh, groups that we just talked about, uh, you know, settle down for another day or two and then perhaps it's ready to uh, be able to uh, sustain another move higher.